One of the things I'm most proud of is our mental health department, where we provide low-cost counseling to special needs individuals and their families. During times like this, this is something that everyone can use. And we're the directors at the Ed Asner Family Center, and we're so excited because we decided to bring the art of music to you. So wherever you might be, you might be on your computer or on your phone or in your car and listening to us and going on. But we're just going to be using music and art and having some fun today, right, Viva? Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. A little bit different than what we usually do, but so much fun. So much fun because you know what? Two is way better than one, right? When we put our brains together, we make lots and lots of fun. Bon. All right, and then today our theme, if you cannot tell, it must be butterflies. Butterflies. So we're going to be talking about change and making it grows and how beautiful change can be, right? Right, so we're going to be talking all about change and metamorphosis through art and music. It's going to be so much fun. But we have some exciting news. First ever. A song, right? We got our hello yes, song. Yes, our first ever hello song. So get ready and... And get your instruments because we're about to sing a little bit of hello. Even if it's just your hands, you know, get ready. Woo! Woo! <laughs> All right! This song I wrote just especially for our class, The Art of Music, so I hope that you learn it and sing along with me and have some fun with me. All right, here we go. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to the center's musical show. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, my friends, my friends here. All right, let's go. Oh, hello, hello. some fun with it so go ahead and grab some instruments and our first song is a little bit of a funny song it's all about bugs and so since today we're talking about butterflies we're gonna also talk about what happens and how to become a butterfly right so the first thing that happens is a butterfly starts as a little egg right oh gotta crawl gotta crawl gotta crawl to the butterfly to the ball, to the ball, and a happy time we'll have there. One and all at the butterfly ball. So we start with a little egg, and we gotta crack on open, right? We've got to crack, gotta crack, crack open the butterfly ball. To the ball, to the ball, and a happy time we'll have there. One and all at the butterfly ball. A beautiful caterpillar. So if you have an instrument or if you have your body, let's make a little caterpillar move. Ready? Get your hands moving and grooving. Oh, we gotta crawl, gotta crawl, gotta crawl to the butterfly ball, to the ball, to the ball, and a happy time we'll have there. One and all at the butterfly ball. So let me see you crawl, 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 crawl. Oh, let me see you crawl. Crawl, 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 oh, a happy time we'll have there. One and all at the butterfly ball. And then once you're a caterpillar, so 
something magical happens where you enter into your chrysalis. You've got to wrap your arms around you. You want to wrap your arms or, you know, before you have wings, you got to wrap your arms and you got to hop a little bit because when you're in that chrysalis, you want to break out of the chrysalis and become that beautiful butterfly. So now you got to wiggle, got to wiggle, got to wiggle to the butterfly ball, to the ball, to the ball, to the ball. and I'll be done with that. and having some fun, silly. But you know what? If you don't have an instrument, we have a surprise for you. Do you want to make an instrument with us? But not just any instrument, a very beautiful butterfly instrument. All right, let's do it. Come on. <laughs> Hi, everybody. That was so awesome. I loved your voices. You guys were singing beautifully. You guys love yours as well. You are beautiful. Uh, yes. <laughs> All right. So basically, I don't think we mentioned this already, but since this is a live show, we are seeing all the comments that you're seeing. So Kamina, we see you out there. Thank you for all your sweet comments. Um, so if you have any questions, if maybe something's a little bit tricky for you, if we're doing any of our crafts, if you're wanting to type out some of the lyrics that we're singing, go ahead and make a little comment because we see everything that you're writing. They're right next to our little screen. All right, so we are going to be making something super fun. We've made it in plenty of our classes. If you've ever come to any of our in-person classes, also at Camp Ed, shout out to Camp Ed, Woo! which we also host every summer. Um, we are going to be making butterfly shakers. So, We'll do a little bit close up of what our shaker is going to look like, but we're going to talk about some of our materials that we are going to be needing before we actually start our project. Hi, Sophia. Hi. Oh my gosh, we miss you. I you know. Big heart. Oh, so much. All right, so we are going to get started with a few materials. Okay, so. We are going to be needing some glue. We've got some liquid glue. I've got one for Judy and one for one for me. And then we are going to be using um, some beads, okay? So we'll talk about that in a second because our main kind of material, our base for our project today is actually going to be a recycled material. So we are trying to make sure that all the projects that you guys are getting uh, here at our show are very accessible to anyone, even if you are staying at home and staying safe, obviously. So even though I don't, we don't really, like as butterflies, we want to take care of our planet. So if you do have to use a tiny water bottle, reduce, reuse, and turn it into a beautiful instrument, which we're going to be showing you today. And you can use anything, right? You can right. You, any anything that you empty out, instead of just Woo! Tossing it away. That's not butterflies don't like to see that. If anything, you gotta recycle. But if you don't recycle, make instruments. Exactly. What more fun than that, exactly. right? So maybe get a good box together and just put all your recycling materials into one thing. Because 
You never know what's gonna happen. Maybe you'll need a shaker. Maybe you'll need to definitely need a shaker in this class. Yes, definitely. Yeah, so yeah, if do you it. do make this shaker, which we hope you do, keep it, put it in a special spot, and bring it for next week because this is gonna be happening every Wednesday. <laughs> we got a comment from Milo. Hey. He says, Thanks, <laughs> <Hey>, Milo. <laughs> Okay, and so what we're going to be doing is we are going to be using bottles today and beads. So we've got beads for our shaker innards, like the, kind of like the guts of our butterfly today. <laughs> but I just want you guys to know that with all of our materials, like Judy said, you can really be using anything. So if you don't have beads, you can even use, like I've got some like seven grain cereal. You can use some rice, beans, Beans, yes. Lots of beans. Pinto or black, both would work. Rice. <laughs> oh, you said rice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so, um, you gotta keep up. Everyone has to keep up. No, that just blew right by. Ah, ah, I see what you did there. <laughs> okay, so. Bugging me out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, water bottle. We're going to need a water bottle. You're going to need some type of shaker material on the inside. Glue. And this part is optional. Right now, all the materials that you have that we've spoken about make our shaker. But if you want to go one step extra and make it um, a little bit more decorated, you can add wings and a little antenna and some googly eyes just with some pipe cleaners or... Anything you got laying around. I mean, I've got googly eyes, but you know, you can even use old buttons or string, old shoelaces. Really get crafty with it. We've got so much time on our hands right now. Let's let's use that time to get creative. And I can't wait to see what they create. Right? Like they should yes. send us all their images of anything you make and give us ideas because we need ideas too. Right? Yes, exactly. So if you have a craft idea that you see online or. Anything like that. If you have art that you've made that you're proud of, you can send it to uh, you can send it to me at Aviva at EdAzerFamilyCenter.org. Okay. Well, I'll say that again later on in the show, just in case you forget. <laughs> okay. So we're just gonna keep it simple today, and we're gonna get started with the craft. Okay. I can't wait. All right. So we're gonna get started with our water bottles. Okay. So get your water bottle out, and we are gonna start by just taking off that label. Okay. We don't need that anymore. Just get that label off. Don't throw it on the ground. No littering here. Right into the garbage or paper can be recycled. You can also recycle your paper strips. Throw that over here, Judy. All right. And so really you can do anything you like. So you can paint it. You can, I don't suggest spray painting it. We'll get everywhere on your hands, but get cut creative with it. I'm gonna, hopefully I can give you a little bit of a close up here of our little butterfly. So this is what um, our little example looks like today. We're just gonna be showing you how to do um, just like the basic eyes and um, antennas here. But what we're gonna be doing is super simple. We're just going to be taking our lid off, adding it with our beans of choice. These ones are cool because they've got a lot of different shapes, which will make a bunch of different sounds. So the best part about this is you can really do some experimenting and see what kind of sounds different shapes make. You can see if rice makes maybe a different sound, and even if you use something different like sand or rocks. And, you know, um, our good friend Steve at the center made a good point that sand is actually a much quieter material that you can put into your bottle if maybe some sounds are like loud sounds aren't really your favorite thing. Let's put a little something in there that's whoop, whoop, that's okay. Messes up the dirty part. That's all right. Um, so anything that's a little bit of a softer material would definitely make a softer noise and still give you that nice kind of like feeling in your hand when you shake it. Um, so I'm just going to put about like a quarter of beans in there. I think the less you put in, kind of the more sound it'll make. Ooh, and it's so pretty when you use a bunch of different colors like this. It kind of makes mm -hmm. it look like you've got some cool butterfly guts in there. All right. So now we're going to put our cap on so nothing really like falls out or anything here. 
And what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how you can make some little antennas. So here I have some really cool pipe cleaners that I just ordered online. You don't have to use pipe cleaners, like I said. You could really use um, string. You can use anything like that. Even if a chopstick you have, you can cut it in half. This one pack actually comes with googly eyes, but mm. we've got some really cool googly eyes that I'll show you in a second. So let's choose our color, Judy, because all we're going to need is one pipe cleaner today. Ooh, pink. pink. You're going to go with pink? I think there's a few different shades of pink in here. Mm. Ooh, hot pink. All right. And you at home, you viewers at home, if you want to choose your color, just, just for fun, just for play, you can choose. We've got a lot of good colors in here. I think I'm going to go with one of my favorite colors. It's like, whoop. Really cute lavender, like lake girl. Okay. So Judy's already got the right idea. So what we're going to be doing is taking our pipe cleaner and just doing it in a nice, giving it a nice little fold in half, like just like so. And they'll stay because they they have wire on the inside. And what we're going to be doing is taking our scissor, which was on the floor. <laughs> I'm gonna actually just share my scissor with you, Judy. And what we're going to do is, since it's so long, we want to measure it to our water bottle, so we don't want it to be too, too long. So we're going to cut a little bit off the top. I'm just going to cut off about like that much, and I'll give it to you. Oh, thank you. All righty. What if I want them different sizes? Oh, it's, that's fine. It's kind of a fun. Yeah, switch it up a right? little bit. Oh, I didn't do it very well. That's okay. I still did it very even. No, it doesn't matter. You know, it's your own butterfly, and however you'd like to make it is going to be the right way, you know, because that's the best part about art. You can make it any way you'd like. Sure, you have to make a little mistakes to make it cute and exactly. unique, right? If you do it the same, it wouldn't be as unique. Mm -hmm. Let's, can I give you a suggestion? Let's put that in the back so you don't oh, see that sticky yeah, part. You wanna let sticky yeah, you want to add that sticky Thank you, Aviva. I did not notice for that. Us. So when it comes to gluing, if you have Elmer's glue, it will work, but it won't um, stick as quickly. So if you are doing this at home with us, I suggest getting a hot glue gun. If you have one, if you have a friend to help you out, parent, guardian, whoever you got around, um, you could totally get out. But we're going to just use hot glue just so we can use it immediately and really try them out for our next song that we're going to do it. So I'm going to just put a little bit of hot glue right underneath the cap can I have a little? in uh -oh. case I ever want to like switch out the beans. I don't want to cover the cap. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. So I'm just gluing it on there. Kind of adding it on okay mm -hmm. and these are actually going to be caterpillar shakers because um uh, uh my cat my silly butterfly brain left all of our lovely construction paper in the other <laughs> room <laughs> that's right. that's okay. it just um, depends on what you kind of want to make it right yeah so we're it. we're in our beginning stages of our butterfly life so just to finish it off all we're going to do is give it a nice curl this is the best part. You can really make them zigzag. You can make them curly cue, like how I'm doing. You can go make one up and one down, like how a little rabbit has sometimes. It doesn't even have to be a caterpillar. It totally could like just be a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> We're just sticking with our theme here. Okay, so our let's keep it. We want because we're gonna have our antennas in the back and then our little eyes in the front. And now I'm going to show you one of the best purchases that I have ever made for the art room, <laughs> which is <laughs> our googly eyes. So without dropping all of them, we've got so many different choices here of googly eyes. So why don't, at home, you guys can choose ones that maybe you would choose if you were here with us today. You can use giant ones, pink ones, yellow. Some have little eyelashes on them. What are you going to choose? Ooh, I'm going to choose two red ones. Okay. Two red ones. Yeah, I got it. I think I'm going to do a green and a pink. Ooh, two different colors. Why not? You got both of yours? Yeah, I do. Okay. And then we can use them, right? Yeah, so we are going to be using our hot glue. Judy, you can go first this time. Okay. Uh, and maybe they can hang out at the butterfly yeah. ball. Even though they, they're underage, they're, 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 they're caterpillars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gluing mine on here. Okay, little caterpillar shaker. You got yours ready? Got, I, I got it. I got it. Okay. Uh, I think 
I think we're going to be good here. Uh, and so I think it's time to shake up. I think they, I, I can see it in, in their crazy googly eyes that they, they need to dance. They need to shake. Um, mine has like blue tears, so I'm just trying to make her <laughs> a little happier. So bring them up so they can really get a good look at them. <laughs> they even look like caterpillars. So. Yeah, well, she's like the wear. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Judy, why don't you take it away and so yeah. we can get our shakers out. If you still don't have a shaker, just like Judy said, you can use any type of materials you've got laying around. That's right. So anything you got laying around, you can just shake, twist, have some fun, grab any instruments, or just your body. And you can do the butterfly dance. Let me see your butterfly dance. Up, wings, up and down. into a little bit of fun crafting time, okay? Mm -hmm. So we went from making our shakers, making some music, and now we're gonna get a little bit creative with our hands, okay? We were using our vocal cords, now let's use another tool that we've got, which is our hands, okay? Ooh, so. I like that there was a question, should we glue the cap on top? You kind of answered that with, you know, if you don't glue it on top, then you can change it, so you can change the sound. But I think it's okay. I sometimes glue when I do egg shakers. I glue them close so it's yeah. safe. It's it's only if you're sure about your tools. Because I was saying, like before, you can switch it out, see what other sounds, other different materials make, really try it out. But if you're sure, like oh, I'm kind of sure, I kind of love my beads, you can add a little bit of glue to the top, twist it on, and just leave it out of this. But and forever it will stay. Yes. So you'll get your forever shaker. All right. So now we're going to lead into a little bit more of a different product, but still in the same realm of butterflies. We are going to be making little tie-dye butterflies that you can use in so many different ways. A whole um, big part of our crafting portion of our show is making sure that you can take these tools and these um, projects that we make in our classes and you can incorporate them into 
any other type of like me, uh, art medium. So we'll talk about that more a little bit later. I know you're here to craft. I'm blabbing along. So we're going to talk. Where's the craft? I'm so ready. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm so ready. I'm ready. I'm ready okay, too. Okay. Okay. So we're going to be needing a few different materials today. So as you can see, me and Judy have a lovely tablecloth to make sure that our tables aren't getting dirty or we're in a nice space. You can be like our butterflies and go outside and do your craft and have a good time in the sun. It's been so lovely outside in Southern California. Um, so now what we're going to be using for first for our materials is we are going to be using another recycled, um, well not recycled, you can't really recycle these because they will get very dirty <laughs> after you use them once. But we are going to be using coffee filters. So if you decide to make a pot of coffee and then change your mind before you put the beans in, <laughs> you can use them. And that will make it a recycled item. But we're just going to be using coffee filters as our base for our wings. So if you want to be a little extra tired, but you want a butterfly, see? You can make a butterfly. Or <laughs> even though this might be a little gross, or I don't know, <laughs> you can use that. Um, Oh, the you, coffee ground. You can use you can use the the used coffee um, filter and have like a nice brown dyed wing. You know, not bad at all. Huh? I'm always I'm always for using natural dyes for things. You can use so many different things for natural dyes. You can use purple flowers. Um, there, if you use um, black beans, you can make a blue dye. Ooh. Yeah, uh, beets for like a light pink turmeric for yellow, um, so many different things that you can use. Okay, there I go blabbing again. Okay, then we are using today for our abdomen and our thorax, we are going to be using um, some clothes pins. But if you don't have clothes pins and you are unable to go to the store, you can use our pipe cleaners that we were using earlier and just kind of wrap them around our um, filter. But I'll show you that later. We're just going to put them to the side here just so we have it prepared and ready to go. All right. And then finally, we're going to be using our little eyeballs. And then I don't think we're going to be needing I should sing all the products. I, I love that. We'll make it a musical. Well, it already is it's a musical. A musical. Show. It's a musical show. Finally, we've got some nice trays here because we are going to be using. Not to you. Some trays. <laughs> some water. So if you've got some water, hopefully you do. Hopefully. Some water. <laughs> and then uh, finally, so make sure you have a little cup of water. And then. Here we have, um, uh, let's see if we can do a little zoom up of it here, where we got these little pipettes. And these are going to help us spread our water around our uh, pipe cleaner, not our pipe cleaner, our coffee oh, filter. Yeah. So you can use a pipe, uh, well, pipette, or you can use like a paintbrush to spread your water. You can even use like a little spoon to get it wet. A straw, that, that that cool trick that we all used to do as like little kids, you know, to oh. get the water in your mm -hmm. mouth. You like hold the hold the straw, suck it up. You know what I'm talking about. But we've got the easiest tool that you could probably use, like a little pipette like this. All right. So we've got all of our materials ready to go. And oh, and oh, I almost forgot the most important. We're gonna be needing markers. So if you do not have markers and you have watercolor paints, if you have any of the other natural dye materials that I talked about earlier, turmeric, beets, I think arugula makes a cool green. Um, anything like that makes really cool natural colors. Just look around your garden. You can look up online some other cool ones. But today we've got markers. Um, so here are your markers. Oh, thank you. you. Your sword, your craft sword. All right, so let's make sure that you can see what we're doing. So first things first, what we're going to be doing is getting our filter out. I got you one, Judy, I need to get myself one. All right, and so I'm flipping it upside down so I can get a nice flat base. And what we're going to be doing is we are going to be making a pattern with our markers. So you can open up your markers now. And 
keep in mind, I'm just going to show you what we've got going on here. Let me choose our colors. You can use as many colors as you want. Um, I suggest keeping warm colors like reds and yellows and oranges together and cool colors like blues and purples and greens together because those blend very nicely. But if you want to kind of go for it and mix the two, you might end up with a little bit of a brownish, but that's totally fine. I think I actually really like brown. It's very fashionable right now, I think, too. So I'm going to choose a rainbow color. What are you choosing, Judy? Ooh, I, I picked three colors, but I kind of want to see if anyone else has any favorite colors in the comments that we could add. To. Oh, yeah. You What's your favorite, favorite color? color? Just post in the comments. Maybe I'll, I'll add it to my butterfly. Yeah, if I'm missing any, which, I, I mean, I've got a few. I, I've got a good amount already. But if you've got any extras, I'll blend them with your favorites. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is I'm going to just start off with my middle here. So it doesn't have to be perfect at all because it is going to be blending all together. So just want to make sure you can see. I am just kind of making any type of design. You can go up and down. You can go side to side. But when you add another color, you want to make sure you leave just a little bit of space in between so that in between those two colors, you know, you can have a beautiful like mixture of the orange and the red or whatever colors you're using. Okay. So you can color along with us right now. If you're at home watching, you can even just do your own little project if you've got something you're working on. So like that, am I doing it? Right? Yeah, beautiful. Oh, okay. So you can do all of one color like Judy's doing or kind of switch around. If you guys have any questions for us about butterflies, you can write about it in the comments. Ooh, if you have a favorite butterfly. Oh yeah, there's so many different ones. And if you play Animal Crossing, you get to see so many different butterflies. Oh, yeah. I Ooh. love the butterflies Animal Crossing. There's one that's called the Peacock. Have you seen that one? Oh, yeah. It's Those are, like, cute. expensive in the I game, know, too. You can get a lot of bang for your buck for the butterfly. Yeah, when you catch those. Oh, so pretty. Oh, my goodness. I love Animal Crossing. If you play Animal Crossing, write it in the comments. Give us a little thumbs Let us up. Know. Oh my goodness. And it's almost going to be springtime too. Um, March 20th is going to be the first day of spring. So if you guys at home are excited about some butterflies, they're waiting and it's going to be over very soon. Mm -hmm. I don't know if any of you remember. Judy, do you remember last year? Or I think it was last year when we had the butterfly migration where all the butterflies. We kind of... had so many of them. Mm -hmm. They were like everywhere. They were all over like we our center is in tarzana so they were all over our kind of area that we have yeah they were monarch butterflies that those are that, the oh, classic yeah, those, the yeah. classic butterflies that you see in oh, a lot of that shows that makes me want to add a little orange oh yeah add some polka dots um mm -hmm. you just the, the main thing about your patterns you don't want to get too detailed with it because it will kind of um blend away in our water process that we're going to do in just a second if I do like little dots like this. They will not be dots. Oh. So. <laughs> but you might get a, a, a slight cue. So if you do want to keep a design like this, you just kind of go around it with your pipette and your water. That's oh, why okay. we're using this because you get a little bit more of like a control. Yeah, a little bit mm. more control. All right. So I like my rainbow we got going on. I like your colors too, Judy. They're really cool. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Does that remind me of like Easter colors? Oh, yeah. It does look like Easter. So many. Oh, can't hot uh, like chocolate. I was thinking of chocolate now. Oh, man. We oh, should have brought a snack. We should have. It's always great to have a little snack while you're crafting. While you're crafting? You craft mm -hmm. snack. Butterflies, they actually eat. The, thing, the food that they eat are like lots of fruits. They like sweet flowers, the nectar, and lots of different things. Let's see, do you got a comment? I mean, it says, all I've got is the turmeric color. Okay, that works perfectly fine. Yellow is such a beautiful color, a really great springtime color, too. Go for it. We, um, in one of our craft videos, use turmeric to dye socks and t-shirts. You can check out those videos on YouTube. 
It's a good thing to have around the house too. It doesn't help when you're feeling a little bit sick and things like turmeric is really good for helping the immune, uh -huh. immune system. Immune system. Immune system. Immune system. <laughs> immune system. There we go. That's really true. You're right. So it's good for crafting and it's good for your gut. For not for your gut. <laughs> for your health. health. Okay, so we've got our patterns down. They're looking really good. Um, you can send us photos of your halfway, uh, your mid shots. This is our, our whip, which is also work in progress right now. So now, hopefully you've got your water nearby. We're going to fill our, our pipette or our straws or our, using our paint brushes right now to blend these colors together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pipette and I'm going to just start doing a few drips of water around our our mm -hmm. coffee filter here and since it's pink you can't really see the colors blend that well but we'll be moving them off but i am making sure that the whole thing is covered with water it's not going to look like they're blending at first but just give it a moment all these colors will really blend now i see mm -hmm. <laughs> so oh yeah let's see your dots are still showing up actually i think i'm just keeping it light yeah so if you don't move it that much they'll stay but i'm just going to make sure Okay, so Judy, you keep, keep putting water on yours, but I'm actually going to move mine forward so I can bring it over here. Do a little bit of dripping. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. see how they all kind of blend together in like a cool tie-dye kind of fashion. Mm -hmm. And Judy's actually doing this project for the first time, just like you guys. So, yeah. so. if you have any questions, Judy, if our audience has any questions, you let us know. And do I do I need any more water, do you think? I think yours looks pretty fine, because when you pick it up too, the water will kind of blend around. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to move it first. Okay. A little bit. Yeah, just so you have space. And then I like, grab it. There you go. There you go. Oh, that looks so oh, oh. Be careful. <laughs> so we just wanted to bring it over here just so you can see our cool designs, a cool little tie-dye moment. All right, so we're going to just put them to the side for just a second. So I'm going to, we're going to actually, I'm going to show you how to do the wings with our um, little examples here because, because we don't, we can't really use the wet one right now. So I'm just showing you this for later on. Once your coffee filter is dry, oh, thank you, Steve. Steve's handing us a nice paper towel. That's also an important material to have nearby. Right, just dabbing that up so you can see what we're doing here. All right. So you can see for our original butterfly, what we're going to be needing is doing a little bit of a um, side to side motion with our butterfly. So I'm going to just take off our butterfly, or actually, let's just do it with a, a white one so you can really see what we're doing. So, Judy, I'm going to give you a new one just. Okay. Just a dry one, ready to go. So it should be flat. So let's just pretend like it's flattened already. Let's pretend like our colors are already on there. And then what we're going to be doing, once our colored um, coffee filter is dry, we're going to be doing a little bit of a folded fan motion okay. with, our with our paper. So we're going to start at the top, and we're going to fold it down. And you're going to flip it over. And just do the same thing, but flipping it up this time. So we're going to be doing that back and forth, back and forth, just turning it and folding. And we're just overlapping the last fold that we made until we get all the way to the end. Yeah, okay. And this is giving our our wings a little bit a bit of a crimp. Yeah, right. a little crimp, some movement to our wings, make it look like she's mid-flight or something. Okay. So your end result should look something like this. All right. And now, before we get to the next step, we are going to choose our um, clothes fit. I always forget the names of these. So we, we don't really use these that often anymore because we all have dryers and such. People would use these when they would hang clothes mm. from like a little clothing wire. I think they even have a special name on sets of movies, right? These? I, yeah, my boyfriend is telling me they have a special name when they're used on movies that's like K49s or something like that. Oh, whoa. <laughs> something like that. They have a special name. 
That's it. I wonder what we're going to use them for. Also. Oh, they just have a C sixty ones. Thank you. I just came to me in a dream, <laughs> in a vision, in a vision. Yes. So C sixty ones. They're special name on sets because they felt like clothespins wasn't a good enough name for something so handy. So it's a little it's code true, name because you could use it for anything. really anything. Yeah. If your dress is too loose, you can tighten it in the back with one. It exactly. Might poke you while you sit down, but really for anything. Anyway, no one needs to know. <laughs> no one needs to know. Okay. <laughs> so, what we're going to be doing is okay. choosing our color. So, I'm going to go with blue. Oh. You can go with the blue. I can. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. I can tell you wanted. I really want one. That's fine. I, I read your butterfly. Because I'm making a little Viva butterfly. Oh, we're blue. blue. Oh, because I, I am a blue butterfly. You're a blue butterfly. Okay. So, we're going to find the middle of our folds here. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to be doing is actually doing one last fold and folding this in half. So we've got our flat side here, and we're just going to be doing a little fold in the middle. Oh. Or if you just want to squeeze it, that works too. Let me bring it up a little bit closer. So you've got your fold, and then I'm just doing a little squeeze in the middle, just so this part is flat. And what you're going to be doing is making sure that the part that opens on the top is up there. And you want to really make sure that it's all the way at the bottom. The furthest you can push it down on the, what did you say? C61. The C61s, <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a robot. So you're learning something. Yeah. So I'll wait for you. Do you have your set ready to go? I think, oh, is it the other way? No, yeah. either way is this fine. Way? Yeah, I kind of like it that we oh, started with right. it flat, almost like the egg, and then we're, and we made a caterpillar almost, and flipped. And then now we're making the butterfly. Right. So like, our butterflies are fully changing. going through their metamorphosis yeah. too. Yeah, I'm ready. So now you can leave it how it is. It's a dragonfly. Or you can open up your wings just by kind of spreading apart your fan. So you're finding the edges of your coffee filter and opening them up. Ooh, the filter. Like oh, oh, I got it. Okay. And okay. So you can leave them like that. You can shape them to be a little bit longer. Pulling them, stretching them, and now they have a beautiful, like, folded kind of wing. And you know, now they kind of look like a moth, because moths usually have very plain colored wings, white, sometimes yellow. And um, moths and butterflies are very similar, but they are the ones that actually go into a cocoon, uh -huh. and butterflies go into a chrysalis. People always think that cocoons are for butterflies, but it's yeah. actually not. Chrysalis. Okay, so now we've got that set. We've got that ready to go. Let's put that to the side. And now we can choose our eyes and our antennas again. What color do you want, Judy? Ooh, I would like um, purple. Oh, orange. Ooh. I changed my head. Yeah, our center colors at the center are actually that. Ooh, doesn't like, that looks like a perfect center bug. That is, the that's, that's our new um, center bug. mascot. Right. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to go with green this time. Okay, let's choose our eyes in a moment. We're going to do the same thing again, going in half, cutting a bit off the top. I think I want, I want them more to do. Yeah, unless you want them really long, keep them long. I like my little short. I'm going to go, you want to make sure that you do your design first, so kind oh, okay. of move it around a little bit. I'm going to go for a zigzag this time. I'm Ooh. just bending it back and forth, just like the same movement that we did with our wings. Back and forth. Super cute. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a little alien butterfly, maybe from Mars or something. Ooh, I love it, Judy. See, if you keep yours long, you can um, give it an extra little bit of a curl, makes it even a bigger curly antenna. Very cute. All right, so now we're just going to open up our clip slightly and just put it in, because you can see on our clip there's like a little hole. Uh-huh. You just kind of make sure that you're shaping it into there. This is a little hole area. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I love your zigzag. That Thank is so you. cute. Look, nice to have a watermelon. Yeah. Oh, if I, you know what, later when I finish the wings, I'll do like a little bit of pink and black spot. Yeah. Little watermelon butterfly. Watermelon sugar. Hi. Okay, so now we can choose our eyes. 
And if you don't have eyes, this is, since these are like wooden, you know, you can just draw on them too. Ooh, I'm going to draw mine. Yeah, go ahead. I think I got some paint on my face, but that's okay. Oh, I'm going to go with some blue eyes so that I really match, she matches me. Mm -hmm. And I am using, this is the time where you totally can use liquid glue to connect your, I'm going to get yours too, because you're going to need a connector and text. So, actually, I realize that my body is a little small. I'm going to use these tiny ones. A little smile. Ah, I love it. It's so cute. Okay. A little bit too much glue there. So, you put it through the antennas inside? Yeah. Close. So, you're... Uh, well, I'm just going a little bit slow here. All right. So, there. I got my eyes. Hopefully, you can see. She's really cute. All right. And so, now, we take our glue. Mm-hmm. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it just like on the top of her head, just so it, because it'll seep down there. It'll make sure that our antennas stay pretty well. But that's the only part that you're really going to glue. Unless you're going to add a little bit to the hole on the sides. Mm -hmm. This is just to secure our little antennas here. All right. Mm -hmm. So she's going to be a little bit gluey, not quite ready to fly in her chrysalis prof like time of her life. So let's put her to the side. But they look very cute. Send us your photos of your butterflies at Aviva. Oh, wait, no, Aviva at edasnefamilycenter.org. Yeah. All right. So we're going to let them. So cute. We're going to let them just cook a little bit in their chrysalis. <laughs> All righty. And so we're going to do a quick one minute just pause of just making sure our table's all ready to go. And we'll be back in just a second. Don't forget Max Hooper. Oh, okay. I got the mic off. You got the mic off? Okay. And we're at 45 minutes. Okay. Okay. So, Oh yeah. We'll get, yeah. Oh wait, let me let me let me hold on. Hold on. All right. Okay. So what about if we if you have yours ready, you can also do like puppets, right? Right. So there's so That's many different puppet. ways that you can use these projects. You can string them up like what we have here. You can make a whole bunch, make a whole migration coming into your bedroom. You can add them on to your paintings, make really small ones, maybe cut your um, coffee filters a little bit smaller, add them into your beautiful, like magical forest painting, anything. You can make them into little clips by adding them on. So the main part of these projects are making sure that they're simple and easy to expand on. You can really make anything with these types of tools, okay? So we are going to be um, finishing it off today with a little fun show for you guys. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's, we're gonna show you some butterfly action. Okay. So. Ooh, hello. Hey, oh, new wings. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, yeah, you know, I just got them done, you know, but nothing too crazy. Were you scared? Because, you know, when I got mine, I wasn't sure what was going to happen because I didn't know if they were going to be bright or, or be dark or I was kind of scared. Well, I love your wings. And, you know, we've actually been talking a lot about change and growth, but sometimes change is scary. And, you know, sometimes I do want things to stay the same. Mm, yeah, me too. I really sometimes just want things to stay the same. But... Uh, you know, sometimes we just need to remember the things that won't ever change, like um, like our friendship. Aww. Mm -hmm. But you know, so many so many things do change. It's hard to like be prepared for them sometimes. Mm, yeah, I know change is scary, but you can't become a beautiful butterfly without you know without change. You got to let go of being a caterpillar to become a butterfly. So maybe we should think about the things that will always stay the same. Hmm. Mm. Well, something that will never change, you know, is the sun's going to come up every morning. Oh, oh 
That's true. That's true. And the moon. And the moon. Right. Even well, when it's not there, it's still there. That's true. That's it's true. just, it's just hiding. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? Even though you can't see us sometimes, we're, we're still flying. We're, we're never going to stop flying. That's true. That's true. And the waves, they never stop, you know, moving and waving at us, saying hey. That's true. They're always giving our little wave hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so now that we thought of the things that will never change, um, you know, when things do change, maybe we just have to think of the things that make us feel less worried. That's true. Sometimes well, if I'm feeling a little bit nervous about something that's changing in my life, I like to do something that relaxes me, like going on a nice, um, going out on a windy day, maybe for Ooh, a good fly. Yeah, that's a good training, training for that. And mm -hmm. I like to, you know, get on my favorite fruits and just kind of hang around for a little bit and eat Ooh, a little, you know, yeah. but something sweet, something nice. Some orange slices. Mm, yeah. 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 <laughs> or sometimes I just like to sit and just be in silence and just, mm. um, just listen to music. You know, oh. I heard Judy's a good guitarist. Oh, yeah, I love listening to <laughs> Judy's music. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I know, I know change is hard and the, the times, and I just can't wait to see what adventures we'll get to do. And maybe if we just keep remembering that to become a beautiful butterfly, we have to stop being a caterpillar and, and always remember that we have each other no matter what, right? You're totally right, Judy. And you know what? Why don't we go fly off together and enjoy a new change of scenery, maybe? Ooh, Let's okay. go to Hawaii. I'll see you there. Aloha! <laughs> so I hope you had so much fun today in our class. I know we loved making and creating today for you. Whoop, uh, dropping things. <laughs> I, we just loved it. I mean, we miss seeing everyone in person, but we think this is a better and safer way to make sure we're getting out about music and art and how things do change, but change isn't always that bad, right? Sometimes you get us in costumes, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's different. I that's feel. very different, but it's good. <laughs> I'm having so much fun and I can't wait for next week. Right. But there's someone's special birthday that happened this that's week. That's true. It's a special day, not just because it's our first day of music and art online, Duh. but it's our friend. Uh, Max Tubar's birthday. Oh, it's Max's birthday. Woo! Oh. So shout out to Max Tubar. He is someone who always has been a great participant in our in-person music and art classes. I hope you're having a great day, Max. So if you are friends with Matt on any type of social platform, send him a happy birthday. Send him a shout out, give him a little message because everyone appreciates a little bit of love every once in a while. Very, very true, very true. Yeah, so on this upcoming week, I want you guys all to just think about maybe, what do you think, Judy? What do you think we should think about this upcoming I think we week? should think about the things that have changed and things that are, are tough, but you know, the good things about change, what have we been able to do a little bit more? Like I've been knitting and crocheting more and may, I made soaps, which I thought was really exciting. So maybe, right. maybe you got a new craft or something you started doing. Yeah. New things that you're proud of that you've accomplished in this past year and hopefully new things that'll, that you're hoping to, you know, master this upcoming year, whether that be making butterfly shakers or shaking your writing your music or anything you like to do <laughs> exactly and change is good it's not always easy but it's something we need need to do so that we can become beautiful butterflies yeah it's necessary sometimes. it's necessary okay. yeah so next week we will see you again on wednesday four o'clock just like today and send us your art because we're going to be showing it so make sure you send us we're going to be showing artwork before the show so i hope to show your artwork and the things you've been working on this week no matter what kind of art it is send it in let us know maybe you draw a beautiful butterfly or things like that but i think it's yeah. time for our goodbye song. yes let's do it i'm ready all right let me flap my wings on over here <laughs> Are you ready to sing a little goodbye? Got my handy dandy capo. This song I wrote for the art of music and we'll be singing it every time we say goodbye. So I hope you learn it with me. It goes a little like this. Oh la 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 at the center we had so much fun 
in the dark together. It's time to say so long. We had so much fun jamming and singing our songs. So goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye, 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 my forever friends, until I see you next time. Goodbye. All right, until we see you next Wednesday, make sure to join us at four o'clock, right? Right. Right. <laughs> Bye.